All right, Shalom. Start first by giving all praise and glory unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Arukakodash. Double honor to the apostles and others at Great Millstone. Greetings, salutations, and blessings unto the hopeful elect. Shalom. Brakatai Yahweh, Brakatai Yahweh Shai, Brakatai Yahweh, Brakatai Yahweh Shai, Brakatai Yahweh, Brakatai Yahweh Shai. Call Allah, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Arukakodash. All praise and glory unto the Most High through the Holy Spirit. Okay? Unto the elect, Shalom. Okay, this is the brother Shaquat from the Las Vegas camp, and uh, I'm gonna do this video. It's pretty much a land back off of uh, brother Karatazan our camp's video. Uh, unity on this side is unrealistic. Coming together with different doctrine isn't true unity. Okay, and um, there's another side to that. Okay, because when the doctrine is on point, there's nothing more beautiful. Okay, there's nothing. There's nothing more in uh, in unity, okay, in unison, so to speak, okay, and that's the perspective I'm gonna take. So, um, as we would read down into the comments, the brother that you see on the screen there, um, you know, hopped on the comment board and was like, you know, he never used those words. We have to come together. So he was on point as far as um, he didn't use those words, but. You have to you have to forgive us for this because usually when HOI come up, we've seen you guys join with, with other camps that don't share the same doctrine, and it and it's not it's it's not scriptural, okay? Yeah, when we're all in the same doctrine, and the doctrine ain't just being an Israelite, okay? Kendrick Lamar knows he's an Israelite. Kodak Black they know they're Israelites. Uh, what's the other guy? Uh, um, uh, the Flame nigga. Um. Whatever his name is. They know they're Israelites. But are you going to come together with them? Okay. So as it dwindles on down. And even if you're teaching Israel. If you if you don't. if Like like IUIC. I use them as an example. They won't succumb to the name Yahweh Shai. They won't teach the name Yahweh Shai. Okay. They, um, certain groups don't believe in Cornelius. I believe your group don't. Maybe I'm wrong. Hey. Hit the comment board with it. No problem. You know, but, but but the whole Cornelius thing is huge to me. Okay, just to touch on that real quick, the, the Cornelius thing is huge because for some some that believe Cornelius is not an Israelite, you're telling me that an Edomite or 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 any heathen can make it. Particularly if you're saying that Cornelius is an Edomite, you're saying an Edomite can make it. And if you're saying an Edomite can make it, I can't trust you. I can't be your brother. We can't be cool. I can't go grab a beer with you. Because I don't know what the hell you might do when we out. I, I can't trust your judgment. Okay? And that's honestly how me particularly as a man feels about it. Okay? As a spiritual man. That's how I feel about it. I can't. I, we can't be cool like that. If you think an Edomite can, can, can make it. Or, or the Lord will give an Edomite this word like that. Okay? But if you're spiritual enough to discern through the, through the spirit. You'll see that hey. Some some of these men may look like Edomites or heathen, but are but are um but are Israelites. But not to digress away from the point, but as well as the, the RFID microchip. Okay, being the mark of the beast. If you don't believe that, I can't kick it with you. You know? You might one day take the chip or or or, or who knows, man. I, I I won't even play the game with you of friendship. Cause that will always be on my mind. Hey, hey bro, like you know, we got to talk about this. If we grab that beer, we're going to end up getting upset. If you stand on your on your belief that it's not the chip, and I stand on my belief that it is the chip, what kind of unity is that? going to create a contention. Okay? And that's just how I am. I can't overlook that. I can't come together and teach. Okay? We've said it uh, time and time again, uh, talking about these unity camps when, when, when brothers have, have been connected with the unity whether it's in New York, LA, wherever they may have been all teaching on the same day you get 35 minutes and you get 35 minutes or whatever the case uh, is or would have been not exactly sure but whatever that case w uh, is <clears throat> I can't I can't get down with that because when the topic is because all I would do, I'd be an antagonist unto that group because I would teach the things where the doctrinal differences were because I'm more about stealing those that know their Israel versus these two-third niggas that don't have a damn chance. Okay? 
Because you already are uh, weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast. So I'm always going to be on, on, on other Israelites' head about it. That's how I get down. You know? Now, I'm all about edifying the, the every, you know, those that, that are that are awake. If you already are out there teaching and your doctrine is off, I got to address that. Because I want that brotherhood. I want that unity to dwell in, uh, in, in unity. I want that. Because inside of what, what nobody understands, all the, the negativity said about Great Millstone, what you don't know about Great Millstone, we have one of the tightest brotherhoods I've ever witnessed in the world. If, if anything, better than any team I've ever been on, better than any family I've ever been a part of, and that's my own blood family, I can say that. Okay? It's, cl it's, it's tighter than that. Okay? No excuses. No, I mean, it's, it's, the, it's one of the most beautiful things I've ever been in. And it's not about... All kicking and having a drink. When I'm wrong, brothers call me out. And when they wrong, they expect to be called out also. All the way around. And that's how we do. We do a tough love thing, which is more sincere. Don't it say open rebuke is better than secret love? Right? Don't that say that right there in Proverbs, the 27th chapter? So, I don't want this particular brother or any other brother in any other camp to take this as, as, an, as an attack. Especially this brother, he came cool and, and everything's cool but we also have to um, edify whoever's watching this video whoever whoever uh, is in this truth okay and this is just the point the brother was making and he just used you as an example it's okay you shouldn't be offended by that I'm not saying you are but I'm just saying I don't believe you should be this is all about edifying the body right but we do have doctrinal differences but I can't I, that I can't let I, I can't let pass. Honestly, that's that's me as a man speaking that. You know, as a spiritual man, I you know, I don't wish you no other brothers no ill will or nothing like that. The video that I'm doing, all right. I'm gonna start with um with the scriptures we all know that back up. I, I I would hope these would be the scriptures that back up what you brothers are talking about. Um, particularly this one in the book of Psalms, uh, Psalm, oh, I passed it, Psalm 133, get to it, bear with me one moment, pages, okay, all right, Psalm 133, and one, it says, behold, how good is it, and how pleasant is it, for brethren to dwell together in unity. Okay? I can't dwell in unity with a brother that doesn't uh, call on the name of Yahweh Bashi me I can't dwell in unity with a brother that doesn't believe Cornelius was an Israelite. That Because when you follow that path of him being of any other nation, any other nation, let alone an Edomite, but any other nation, you're saying the heathen can make it. And I don't believe that. You know? Uh, as well as the RFID microchip and there's other doctrinal differences you know the, the uh, brother, brothers get upset about the rape thing and all of that okay and what's the rape thing we're not justifying rape when we teach the rape doctrine as, as it said we're telling you the judgment on rape and how we understand it and we're cool with the situation if, if somebody uh, with the judgment of the most high if he says somebody rapes um some you know a woman or whatever and she was betrothed they both get put to death or if unless she cries out if someone is not uh if she's not betrothed he got to he got to wife her for life you know that's the judgment on it that's the judgment on it okay that's it that's all we're talking about we're not saying hey if you need one you need to go get that's not what we're saying just because we will say that there will be rape coming in the day of the Lord, or people be, will be out there raping people, you know, women will be ravished and all of that, like it says in, in Isaiah the 13th chapter. Yeah, we, we that's that's in the scripture. But are we talking about us doing it? We're not going to have to do it. Because then you, you, you read up to uh, Isaiah the 4th chapter, and what does it say? A seven women will take hold of one man. In the 13th chapter uh, above that, it says, 
it will make a man more precious than fine gold, even the man to go to wedge of, uh, of, of Ophir, right? We're not going to need um, to rape a woman or, or to take captive a woman. We gonna, we're not going to need that. We're going we gonna to be like, we're going to have to be like a famous man, like, hey, nah, I don't. You ain't you ain't up to par, baby girl. I can't can't do it. You believe me? How about you, man? Shy? Well, well, nope, do, nope. Get out of here. You out of here, okay? So those things are just some of the differences, okay? All right. Anyway, moving on. It says, uh, behold, how good and how pleasant is it for brethren to dwell together in unity? And it is a beautiful thing for brothers to be all in the same spirit, pulling the same precepts. Break it don't matter who teach with us because we got the same breakdown. Okay? That's when you go into First Corinthians the fourteenth chapter and it said every man have a doctrine, every man have a psalm, every man have a revelation. You know. That's what it's talking about. It's not saying the division in different topics, it's saying a different perspective to teach the one truth. Alright? That's still in unity, that's still in the same spirit. Alright? Reading on, it says, It is like the precious ointment upon the head that ran down upon the beard. Even Aaron, all the way down, Aaron had a huge beard, right? And went down to the skirts of his garment as the dew of Hermon and as the, the, the dew that descended upon the mountains of Zion. For there the Lord commanded the blessing, even life forevermore. And didn't he give us the commandment, the great commandments, the two? He hung, the, he hung all the law and the prophets on two commandments: love the Most High thyself and love thy neighbor. I mean, love, love the Most High with, with all thy heart and love thy neighbor as thyself. You know, that's talking about your fellow believers. That's not talking about those that don't believe the the, the full doctrine. The the thing about it that, that, in my opinion, I'm gonna I'm gonna speak it from this, but what I've seen is that. You guys don't realize that everything that we believe, we break down through the scriptures. Okay? Yeah, it'd be nice to, you know, I I enjoy Jake in their right mind. When Jake is, you know, understand I'm an Israelite. I, I don't, you know, I, I'm mature enough to be around Edomites, but I don't believe in, in, in their power set up and all of this. And I can be mature because I still have to live in this captivity and this society. And I'm subject to all these certain things. It's a beautiful thing to be a brothers like that, but at the same time, if Jake can't 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 get it, the big picture, the mature stance on on this truth, okay, not to 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 to, to be harmless as a uh, uh, wise as a serpent, but harmless as a dove, okay. If he don't understand how to how to maneuver, be like we like we use the Clark Kent. If you can't be Clark Kent, well, as you maneuver through the world, moving with wisdom. Hey man, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. We can't see. I, I'm not saying that these other camps do that. I'm just simply saying any Jake. But I love to see our people being in, in a, um, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a wisdom perspective, okay, in, in mind state. I love to see that. I don't. I like being around Jake that's like that. And I'll tolerate Jake. Talking about the two thirds, I'll tolerate them as long as they're on that cool tip. But when I say tolerate, I mean. Not to be cool with you and high five him, but just be around you. I can't be around you once that nigga shit come out of you. I'm talking about the two thirds. I can't. That's not unity to me. Okay? I can't be around you like that. All right? But for brothers that teach and know that they're Israel, we can get along. I'm not going to, I don't wish you any ill feelings or nothing like that. That's not, in, that's not me. But I can't see eye to eye with you either till we come to an understanding on what the true full doctrine is period point blank because when that unity really kicks in and I see that they coming at you with the, with the name like for those that don't believe in the name uh, or coming at you with the Cornelius thing or whatever I don't, I can sit back and trust that you got it and you're going to break it down the right way and you're going to do the right thing in this situation you know but in that unity thing that I've seen happening in some of these other cities I can't trust that. I can't. I can't. I can't sit back and be like, "Oh damn!" Somebody asked him about the mark of the beast. Who gonna break that down? Is Sakari gonna break it down? Is HOI gonna break it down? Is this brother, you know, lights of whatever? Who gonna break that down? And who gonna allow 
a different breakdown than what the other can't believe go down. Because what's going to happen is I'm going to automatically clash with somebody. That's just me. I'm going to automatically clash if we ain't on the same page. Now, I don't mean I'm not, you know, Jake argue about sports or whatever. And that's one thing, you know. I don't even get deep into that. But when it comes to this, this doctrine, my whole belief system dwells on every point in this doctrine being true. Okay? Now, you can't, if the apostles come with something, they're trusted in my eyes. If they come with something that's, 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 that I've never heard or that I didn't understand previously, I'm going I'm to meditate on it. I'm going to go research it. And I'm going to come up with, with either the question to give further edification. Hey, bro, you understand what the apostles broke down? I, I never heard that before. Can you break it down to me? Because I, I, I didn't get it. I thought this and that. And if, and, and if I come to an understanding, I'm, and I'm, I like to believe I'm humble enough to, to, um, to, to succumb to that. But every group ain't like that. All right? Every man ain't like that. Anyway, moving on. I don't want to um, get too far away from the point or digress too far from the point. But these are little tidbits that fit into this thing. Okay? Anyway, so Ephesians. Go to the book of Ephesians right quick. <clears throat> Ephesians chapter 4. We'll start with verse 1. There, uh, I therefore the prisoner of the Lord beseech you that you walk worthy of the vocation wherein ye are called. And if you can't get up and teach the whole truth in the same mind of everybody around you, the, the vocation, you, you're not, you need to be taught again, man. I'm sorry. It's the truth, though. You got to be taught and edified on what, on what the breakdown of this is. All right? It says, um, with all lowliness and meekness, with long-suffering, forbearing, one another in love and that's what this really is okay when, when, when we at great millstone get on you other camps it's out of love whether y'all take it that way or not when we get on captain Cesariac or whatever you know with, with the all commanding general if it's not of general Johanna like come on bro you you know better than that you know that's out of love because he got the doctrine he got it all up till he believed uh, 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 General Yohanna is the commanding general of Israel. Like, stop it. Okay? Anyway, it says, um, Enduring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. And that's really what we want. And I believe that's what you meant. Personally, I believe that's what you meant when you came up. Okay, and we was cool about it. But if you continue watching the same video, I spoke uh, 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 frankly. Okay, I said, "Hey, man, I, I hate to you know put it out there like this, but Great Millstone is is for the high level, man. You know, you got to have a you have to been given a high level of understanding of being Great Millstone. Okay, you have to you have to be a more humble man to be in Great Millstone." You have sharp rebuke more in, in Great Millstone, but there's a benefit in Great Millstone. We apostles, through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, give out very edifying um, judgments and, 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 and breakdowns for us, okay? And, and, and lead a path of, um, of, uh, 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 of sincerity before us that we can follow, okay? Because we believe, and if you watch them, through the scriptures, they're leading us through the spirit. Okay? Because everything that I've seen the apostles do line up with this scripture. With the with the with the understanding. Okay. It says, um, uh, let me read that one again, verse 3. In in endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one spirit, even as ye are called in hope of your calling. Now, I'm not going to go to it. I, I had it written down, but you go into 1 Corinthians, the 12th chapter, it breaks all that down. Matter of fact, I'm going to go real quick and just pull a couple out real fast. Since I am, I got another moment or two to do it. Get to it. <clears throat> a couple key points out of there. Okay. It says, let me see. Um... Um, 
Yeah, I'm gonna jump up to um where is it at? First um let me see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um verse twenty four. For our comely parts have no no need but the most high have tempered the body together, having given abundant honor to the part that lacks schism in the body. We're not boasting, and that's when you go back and watch that video from, from camp after you left. Alright? Talk to that brother in particular. Because when you read his comments that I, you never use those words, you reach and it, it seemed like you might have been a little offended by the brother doing this video and, and possibly putting your face on there. Well, if you're out there teaching, your face is out there anyway. But he was using you as an example. Okay, because it was it was spiritual the fact that you came up the same day or the same weekend another brother from HOI came up to another brother in Dallas. Okay? You know? So um and I wrote and if you read down further in these comments, I wrote some things that, you know, I wrote some things that you may or may not like. It's a little bit harsh, but if brothers know, I'm like that. I will say some, I will I will use extremes. I'll be extremely brotherly and I will be extremely harsh at the same time. Okay? Because if you can deal with my extremes, we all fall in. It's not just about, it ain't about me, but this thing is about extremes. Okay? I'll give you my last plate of food. I'll give you my last morsel of food, but I will cuss your ass out the whole way. If, if it's right. Or expect you, I will give you my last food and expect you to cuss me out. If I'm off, I'll give you shut off you and will cuss you out if you don't cuss me out because I was wrong at something. Okay? And that's just how I get down. I got down like that before the world, so this was even more beautiful when it came to the truth. And it's been and it's happened. It's happened within this truth to me. And I wouldn't have it any other way. The water for all the brothers that that, that had no problem uh, putting that, putting that, you know, being straightforward that way with me, you know, and that's that's how we, that's how it is in, in, in Great Millstone. You, you brothers can see if you ever seen Apostle Tahar, it's time and time again, which I'm I'm preparing for one of them to come around at some point. But Apostle Tahar just cuss her, you niggas better quit lollygagging and bullshitting, you know. Anyway, reading back, it said, but that's that's a sincere love for you. When a brother will cuss you the hell out because he care about you. He care about you making it. He don't want to see you fall off. He got a lot of fire under you. Okay? To put that fear of your hour in you. that So you understand to quit playing games with this thing and, 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 and let's go. We ready to get up out of here. Anyway, it says uh, that there should be no schism in the body. And the schism is what? Will place it stumbling blocks, offenses, things that you can't see eye to eye. Okay? Particularly from you know, as I'm speaking it in this, a division in the doctrine. Can't be no unity if there's if there's a, a division in the doctrine. It says, um, but that the members should have the same care for one another. And if and if there if you don't fully understand uh, a certain topic, it's my obligation as a brother to you. To help you get it. And it's your obligation as a brother to me to help me get it if I'm off. Okay? Reading on, it says, um, and whether one member suffereth, all the members suffer with it. Or one member be honored, all the members rejoice with it. Exactly right. This is the I've been on a few teams, okay? Sports teams. This is the greatest team. I'm using that, you know, that I've ever been a part of. Okay? And that's why I said, I, I, I pray that all, all you brothers make it, man. You know? All the sincere brothers will come into this thing and, and, and make it, man. That's what, I, that's, what I, that's what I pray for. As well as myself. Alright? As well as brothers in other camps to wake up out of that. And whatever that, that is, that stumbling block that's in you, that you get rid of that, man. Okay? Anyway, it says, um, now ye are the body of Yahweh Shai and the members in particular. Now, I'm not going to, you know, you can read the whole chapter. It's a beautiful chapter, man. A beautiful brotherhood chapter. 
Okay, so now let's go to um, Sirach. Um, the book of Sirach. I don't want to make this too long, but this is how it, gets, this is how it happens. All right. Oh, that was L, that was one. Sirach 37 and 1. It says, Every friend said, I am a friend, uh, is only a friend in name. And that's what it will become. It will come down to that. If we had unity with different doctrines, we just being cool because we Israelites. We wouldn't be cool because I really care for you. Because at the end of the day, if you don't care for yourself and care for me, it's what is this, what is the second great commandment that he hung the, the law. All, all the law and the problem. Love thy neighbor as thyself. And if you don't believe that Cornelius was an Israelite, then you don't care about yourself, in my opinion. Okay? And it's not an opinion. You don't. If you if you follow that train of thought all the way back to his Genesis, hey man, you don't you don't you don't believe. This thing is this truth isn't for you if you don't if you can't see that Cornelius is clearly not a heathen. Because you're saying a heathen can make it. Even if it's just if you're saying, oh, it's just Cornelius. He was no, no, not one. That that alone should tell you that Cornelius is not a, a heathen. All right. Among the other clues that we at Great Millstone bring out, and brothers that, that understand the Cornelius thing bring out, and I'm just using that. Y'all may believe in the Cornelius thing. I'm not sure, but I'm talking about those camps that don't believe in it. It's not just on HOI. It's about all the different camps and the divisions between all the different camps and the doctrines. Okay. If you if you bring in swords to camp, I'm not feeling you. You don't you don't have faith. You don't believe. You got big blades on your hip. I'm not feeling that. Hey, don't come to a great millstone with a weapon, man. Your weapon is in these scriptures. Your weapon is your mind to, to pull these precepts and cut and cut the uh, the enemy. Okay? Even cut us or cut yourself if necessary, but that's the weapons that we bring. Okay? I'm not saying that, that that's for whoever. That's for whoever. Don't be caught in that carnal way, man. We, we, we don't get down like that, particularly here in Vegas and in Great Millstone in general. All right? It says, uh, uh, Is it not a grief unto death when a companion and friend is turned to an enemy? Yeah, it is. When you had an ally, now that's your enemy. Okay? Because y'all all, because at some point, y'all didn't see eye to eye on something. And y'all couldn't come to an agreement on something. Well, I can't come to an agreement on something that don't fit in the scripture. The measuring stick is the scripture. That should be the, 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 the deciding and ruling judgment on everything. What the scriptures say. With the proper interpretation, meaning it line up everywhere. Okay? And Cornelius and, and the RFID chip, those are something I can't ignore. I can't ignore. If you have a different breakdown, I can't let that slide. Those are too big. They're too huge to me. All right. Anyway, it says, um, verse four, there's a companion which rejoices in the prosperity of a friend, but in time of trouble, he will be against him. If, if I don't, if you don't believe the RFID chip is the mark of the beast, you may go take it, man. You may go be trying to be a brother to you and so sincere to you. I'm going to try to stop you. And now, look, now we in contention and doing all of this. You know, I can't, man. It just leads to bad things, okay, when you're not on the same page. Scripture says, can two walk together, together lest they be agreed? Yeah, we can start down the, down the street on the same direction. One across the street, one across the other side of the street. That's what is more more accurately, but it'd be a lot better if we could walk together and understand. And then we can talk and speak together in the same understanding. And as we would do that, um, the walk wouldn't be as bad. Right? I know that's what the unity thing is about, man. I know we know. We get it. We ain't just out here just trying to at Great Millstone, just trying to be outlaws of Israel. That's not our point. But we have to uphold. The, 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 the fervent truth of this doctrine the 100% truth of this doctrine we have to and it's, it, it, and it's, a, it's a bold statement to say we have 100% truth but it's true whether, whether you like it or not it's true because everything that we break down 
is out the scripture. It's precept upon precept, line upon line to back it up. All right. It said, there's the companion which helpeth his friend for the belly and taketh up the buckler against the enemy. That's that's the, the that's the thing, man. That's that's what it's all about. That hey, are you sick, bro? Let me bring you some soup, bro. I got this remedy. I was doing the research on it, bro. Let, add this to it, boom. It's gonna really turn things around for you. Hey, don't forget to pray in the name of you. How about you, I'm gonna put the other Akim on it to pray for you as well. Okay, that's what brothers do. All right. It says um, and we pray for and believe it or not, we do pray for you, brothers, man. You other camps. The, the, the sincere of you other camps That's who we pray for The sincere of you other camps To wake up man You can stay HOI or whatever other camp uh, um, uh, Sakari or who, whatever other camp that you in You can stay in that But at the same time We don't want anybody that the spirit don't want We not just want to link up Just because we all Israel That's not good enough That's not good enough Alright it says um Forget not thy friend in thy mind and be not unmindful of him in riches. Yeah, and the, what's the riches we got? We got wisdom. So we always want to share the wisdom and riches with, with, um, with one another. And at some point when we're doing that, that we're going to have a division. It's gonna, and a friend is going to become an enemy when we have our doctrinal differences. Okay, jumping down to 12. But be continually with the godly man. Okay, and that's a beautiful thing to be around brothers in like mind. That's also a righteous tip. That's now no BS. That you can, hey, this man is, a, hey, this is a good brother, man. You know, hey, bro, I ain't got it this week, but you know, you think I'm hungry, you think you can help me out? Hey, right, bro, no question. You know, and that happens in any direction. Okay? That's a, it's a beautiful thing when that happens. Okay? And, and like I said, there's no beef. I got no beef with you as far as, um, won't ill to happen to you You know in, in Any other uh, camp out there We don't have that we, we rather give place for y'all To be persuaded in your own mind But we gonna make known Why we can't be super cool I know I am Off the top the Video that the brother was doing To edify Israel That's what that was about Okay Matter of fact I'm gonna show you the comment that I, You know and I Said it, hey, and to be frank, I can't be cool with anyone that would that would want even one Edomite to make it. I threw out there to Cornelius, you know. It says, uh, I can't trust them because their judgment is off and not in the spirit. Further, certain groups that don't want to worship Yahweh Shai, that's another division. If you don't think Yahweh Shai is worthy of being worshipped, this man took the whole heat for Israel. Was sacrificed for the whole nation. That, that ain't that ain't an honorable position. He's directly under the Father, and he gonna come back. He's the link between us and the Father. Man, that's that's a high position, man. That's praiseworthy, man. That's honor worthy. That's worship worthy. You know, for those that this fits with. Okay, I can't get down with either emotional or certain judgments. You know, particularly the rape thing. If you get emotional about rape and about the situation of rape and the judgment of rape that's written in the scriptures, I can't I can't feel you. You know, because you're gonna make an off decision somewhere down the line. The situation is gonna rise. Okay, it says um I I wouldn't uh, give the interaction too much energy outside of debating doctrine. Okay, it says uh I, I wrote um. But once we all on point with one mind, it begins with the understanding of the full doctrine. Once we on point with one mind, bro, I'm I'm your servant, bro. I'm a servant to my brothers. Once we in the same mind, I'm your servant. You ask me for anything, and if I can do it, and if and if I got it, it's yours, no question. Okay, ask any brother that know me. If I got it and I can do it, it's done. Lord willing, of course. If if it's up to you know, it's through the spirit. But it's, if it's of me, I'll break my back for a brother. No question. Okay? And I and I watch my brothers do the same thing for me and for each other. That's that unity that we're talking about inside. Love thy, thy, love thy brother as thyself, they fellow believer. Okay? Okay, Ali, man, whom thou knowest to keep the commandments of the Lord. 
those two great commandments, right? That we gonna, we gonna we gonna sum it up with those, right? That's the ones I've been using because they sum up the all the uh, they sum up the ten. The two sums up the ten. The ten sums up the, the six hundred thirteen plus. Okay, it said whose mind is according to thy mind, and will is key. Whose mind is a thy mind, okay, and will sorrow with thee if thou shall miscarry. That's gonna understand and try to restore you in meekness. Or, or if it's necessary, rebuke you sharply before all, so others may fear. Or give you open rebuke, because that's better than secret love. Okay? <clears throat> I don't have much more time, but I gotta um, keep moving. So rack the sixth chapter, and then I'm gonna close out with that. Um, Should have closed out with that one, but nope. There's a little more. A little meat on the bone. Gotta get it, man. Okay, so Rack 6 and uh, 13, it says, Separate thyself from thine enemies and take heed of thy friends. Hey, if you believe Cornelius is not an Israelite, you're my enemy, man, because you're telling me that the enemy, which are the other nations, pursuing the Psalm 80, 83rd chapter, I believe it is, right? You believe that, 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 that our enemies can make it. I can't, I can't get down with that. I can't get down with that. Pure point blank. I won't. All right? A faithful friend is a strong defense, and he that hath found such an one hath found a treasure. When you find a brother that's in the like mind as you, you found a treasure that's that's that that you can't you can't put a price on, man. I think it's gonna say that. It said nothing do contravail a faithful friend, and his excellency is unvaluable. You can't put the the value on uh, is invaluable. You can't you can't put the, the value on a faithful friend, man. You can't put that. You, there's nothing that you can top with a friend that's faithful unto you. But the spirit of Yahweh by Shimon Shah, okay, and that you are faithful unto. I wouldn't. I shouldn't have any reservations about you, and when the way your mind works, and you should have no reservations about me or how my mind works, okay? Because we should be pressing toward the same mark. Running the race, and if you ain't got it, hey, grab my hand, bro. I, I still got a little more energy. I'm gonna push, and when I fail, hey, grab grab me and keep pulling me along too. You know, keep encouraging me to go. You know, it says, um, a faithful friend is the medicine of life, and they that fear the Lord shall find him. So if if you find this video or the video the brother did offensive, hey, bro. So if you find offense in it, it's a problem. Because this wasn't meant to offend. It wasn't meant to call nobody out. It wasn't meant to anything like that. We, like the brother extended it when he said, hey, you're welcome to come to the camp anytime. Let me see where he wrote that at. He said, hey, you're more, right there. Feel free to come to the camp and chop it up. You know? I'm going to bring up the doctrinal differences if you come up. I'm going to let you know about me. But, it, but anything that we on the same point, we can chop that up all day. But I'm going to bring it up because I'm going to be offended because you don't see it. So I'm going to try my best as a brother to edify you in that. Okay? That's just that's just how I get down. Because once, cause once we on the same page, bro, I will break my back for you. Pure point blank. If you believe, whether you still in HOY or not, if you have the full understanding and, 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 and you giving your life and soul out there and your, your freedom and all of that, to earn your salvation, bro, I'm with you, bro. I don't care what camp you out of. But the doctrine got to be on point for me to do that. And I'm going to check. That's just that's just how I get there. You know, like I said, like 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 both of y'all said in y'all conversations, hey, it's all right, you know. We can be respectful. There's no disrespect. There's no disrespect in this. And if we was off, hey, you I'm, I'm, a, I'm a, shoot, if you want to get real, I'd be upset if you didn't say something about this, the brother's video. I appreciate the fact that you spoke up on that. I can get down with somebody like that. And I think the brother, I can tell you the brother appreciates it too. That's why he said what he said. Hey, thank you for speaking up to make sure that I wasn't coming sideways at you. Okay? Because that's how we get down. All right? Um... 
Yeah, anyway, it says, um, yep, anyway, it says, um, and they that fear the Lord shall find him. Whoso feareth the Lord, Yahweh, shall direct his friendship aright. And that's what this is really all about. Okay? We, we try to find where we're on the same page, and we try to shore up, uh, shore up the things that we're not on the same page. And if we can't get on the same page, I still have no ill will for you, but we can't be tight like that, bro. Period, point blank. All right? And that goes to any brother in any camp that that we do see eye to eye, we own 100. If we don't see eye to eye, we got to fix that. But we got to get 100 with each other and see eye to eye in this 100% doctrine. Okay? Hey, I, I wish it was as easy as you having it and me not and, and us not having it. You know, I wish it was that easy. But we got it. Because, you know, I watched the men in Great Millstone. We have no problem humbling down. Hey, as I came up in this truth, you know, uh, you know, been, been trying to grow in this truth, doing my best to grow in this truth through all these years. I've watched men that, that had it off and the breakdown wasn't fully out to us yet. Before when the apostles was first on the scene, you know, on the Internet or whatever. And they broke it down. I watched men humble immediately to it. I've watched it happen time and time again. So it's not that we're not humble. Okay? Anyway, to wrap it up, it says, um, Whoso feareth the Lord shall direct his friendship aright. For he, he is, so shall his neighbor be also in that same mind, willing to fight and die for one another. Okay? But... I can't, I can't if you talk about Cornelius being an Israelite, man. He's too well spoken of, man. He's spoken of like an Israelite, like a, a like, like, like an honorable Israelite. I can't, I can't get down with that if you say he's not an Israelite. I can't. I can't have you speaking well about an Edomite like that. I don't care about in, in Deuteronomy 23rd chapter, okay? Because that's not talking about an Edomite. I'm talking about an Assyrian. To abort not an Edomite. That's that was switched up to, to, to as a stumbling block for some of you. Okay. Anyway, Lord willing, this was edifying. I'm gonna um, give all praise and glory unto Yahweh by Shimei Ashai by Shimei Rokakwadash. The belongs to the apostles and those that great millstone who rule well. And greetings, salutations, and blessings unto the elect. Shalom.